Thanks for Mary Chapin, thank you. Hi. Seriously, such a pleasure to have you, you back. Good to, nice see you. To, Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Back on tour for the first time since 07. Yep. Uh, you're looking forward to it, getting back out oh, there again? Absolutely. Celebratory. Yeah. Very, very happy. And the new album called Age of Miracles. Mm -hmm. uh, you went through a trying time physically with yep. an illness, but you're back yep. better than ever. You talk <laughs> about some heavy subjects, though, in this new album. Um, Buddhist monks in Burma, mm -hmm. Hurricane Katrina, racial mm -hmm. tensions in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Why address those in this album? Well, that was part of it. Um, certainly, the experiences of the last few years, they uh, lent themselves to a lot of meditative songwriting, so I knew it was going to be a record. And we'll be back in just a minute. More Mary Chapin Carpenter here on The Early Show on CBS. Stay with us. And we are back. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. I'll let you right. answer a little bit more elaborately. Go ahead. Well, just, uh, you know, the, the record was probably, you know, inevitably going to be about some more serious yeah. subjects than than uh, just just dancing or something. Very so. insightful it is, indeed. Back in 07, you had the, uh, the pulmonary embolism. Um, are you amazed that you're back where you are right now after experiencing something like that? It had to have been very scary. Just very grateful. I had amazing family and friends and wonderful doctors and uh, just very grateful to be back, as you can imagine. How much did that affect your songwriting when it came to this album? Well, um, it's kind of hard not to write about what you've been through, so I think it was pretty inevitable to uh, try to address yeah, it in yeah. some way. I know with all albums, when we talk to a lot of artists, they're like children. There's not one you like more than the other, <laughs> yeah. but this is number 12 for you right oh. now. Where, where does this rank? <laughs> number 12. 12, <laughs> 12 uh, albums. 12 albums, <laughs> <laughs> five Grammys, folks. Five Grammys. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Where does it rank? Does it? Uh, well, you always, I think, are, you know, uh, in love with the last thing you did, or hopefully. Yeah. If you don't feel that way about it when you finish, then maybe you didn't do the job you wanted to. So for now, I'm very proud of it. You have a favorite song on this album? No. N not yet? <laughs> no, not yet. I'm not going to pick amongst my children. <laughs> it's yeah. too early for that. Yeah. There's still time. Over 20 years in the industry, is there a moment that, that you look back on that you, it stands out more than any this others? Morning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this morning. This morning. <laughs> I, heard, I thought I heard you say you fired your band a little while ago. Uh, I did. I, I fired them too. <laughs> right. No, you know, it's, 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 there's a... I've been so lucky and have had so many exciting opportunities, so it's kind of hard to pick just one. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.